You're tuned in to Tackle Fanatics TV, and in this episode, Corda's Ali Amidi takes a look at their fantastic stow bobbins. I've used the stoves now for the past 12 months, and I've got to admit I was totally shocked by just how sensitive they were and how much they transformed my bite indication. Now let me explain how I like to use them because a lot of my fishing over the last couple of years has been done on small lakes and at close quarters. So generally I'm fishing a totally slack line. Now when you use the stoves that way, you can have them hanging on the line, but I like to do it this way. So the reel line from, from the reel right through the rod is totally slack. Once I've done that, I've paid out enough slack and I know my fluorocarbon or my main line is sunk to the bottom. What I actually do is take the stow bobbin make sure it's fully extended there from the hockey stick and then pull it tight from the reel as opposed to slack and then pull it through the clip. We'll do that again, just get it nice and tight. So now what you've actually got is it looking quite unorthodox because the bobbin's almost running parallel to the floor but it makes it so sensitive because normally with a slack line you won't get any sort of registration unless there's a fish on, you know, but this way because the, you know, the, the line's caught in that clip, it's giving resistance from this side of the alarm and with just barely any movement, like that is probably two mil of movement, with the sensitivity on Delkimon Plus and just one, I'm still getting a fair bit of indication. So if, if fish are in the swim and I'm getting the odd liner or you know, they've got away with it, then I'm gonna know everything that's going on. And that is all thanks to the stow. There's so many different ways you can use them. There was one occasion at Brazenose on the linear complex where I was actually fishing zigs and a solid bag next to each other. I was spotting over the top of the two of them and I swear I've cast the two out and the zig rod wouldn't stop bleeping. And that proved to me just how many times those fish are taking that bait in and out. And it was no coincidence that it was right next to the solid bag rod, which was on the bottom, that didn't bleep. The zig rod, 17 times before I actually had a take. And that was all thanks to the stow for letting me know what was going on in the swim. I've got to say, in the last 12 months, I've become a total stow devotee. You've been tuned in to Tackle Fanatics TV. Many thanks for watching. Tackle Fanatics offer a huge range of end tackle from all the leading manufacturers, including a full stock of Corda products. Log on to www.tacklefanatics.co.uk to view our range. Remember Tackle Fanatics also offer finance to make your tackle purchase more affordable. Tight lines from everybody at TFTV.